been framed. Harry Hill has been behind some of the greatest comedy shows in TV history. Well, <laughs> your president's overstated. I think <laughs> no, that's no, too no, much. no, 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 no. Well, now he's put <laughs> all those stories into a new book where he shares the stories from his 30 year career and he joins us now. Hello, oh, Harry. Harry. 30 years, almost at the top, I'm calling you. <laughs> it's so lovely. Look, let's have a Come look. On, do it out. Yeah. Uh, it's called Fight, Harry Hill. What have you had to fight for, babes? Uh, Absolutely well, nothing. Well, of course, it is a reference to the, the fights that we used to have on every week yeah. uh, on TV, but. You know, some of those we had, like, I remember we had Hitler versus Heather Mills. Only one way Heather... to find out. Yeah, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Hi. That was so funny. <laughs> people still shout at me yeah. in the street. Yeah. And um, I'm doing a little tour to promote it, this, uh, this book, uh, where I've got a whole load of videos from... Uh, I always used to carry a camcorder around with me. So I've... Uh, was it quite a, quite a big one? Sometimes it, it was a big one to start with and then gradually got smaller. And now, of course, everyone's got a phone now, haven't they? They yeah, all do that. I know. It was so interesting to read about the fact that you were trained as a doctor. Yes. But you only did it out of spite, really. You didn't do it because <laughs> you wanted well, to do it. Because my physics teacher <laughs> said, told my parents, there's no way he'll ever get into medicine. And, he, and maybe he should think about, that's me, yeah, as a chiropodist, she, he said. Uh, but I didn't fancy, I mean, I'm sure there's more to just sort of clipping toenails. There's a lot more to property than that. Yeah. And so how did I, you feel when you actually graduated? Did you go back and say, look at that, babes? Well, I think that would have been more the sort of thing you do. <laughs> That's very it's true, not, It's not in my nature to be unkind like that. <laughs> <laughs> or boastful. <laughs> oh, you don't know the half of it, Harry. <laughs> Harry, what I love, though, uh, the stories about after you trained as a doctor, um, you, you, you didn't particularly... I mean, you sort of enjoyed it, but you said you made a lot of mistakes. I didn't enjoy so... it. I'd, I'll, be, I'll be honest, um, I did not enjoy okay. it, you know, and because I was always so busy, like, for instance, I think the story is the, um, you had to get the consent form signed, so this was the thing, and I was so busy, and so it was not like now where you've got to be really carefully explaining all the risks, so I'd say, here's the consent form, I said, here's the pen, you just sign at the bottom, like that, <laughs> and he read this thing, and he was in for hernia operations, and he says, what is, um, bilateral orchidectomy, and I said, <laughs> what, and I read it, and that is... Castration, basically, to remove <laughs> removal of the... So you nearly castrated someone? <laughs> well, not me personally. <laughs> and he goes to me, why do I need that? And I said, I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason. <laughs> 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 and he, he did sign it, but fortunately, it was picked up in the... Uh... But the other one, you misdiagnosed a heart attack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, no, I, in the right way, though. I thought I said someone was having a heart attack when they weren't. <laughs> OK, yeah, which is well, what, what, the other What way led you to believe that they were having a heart attack? Well, I tell you what, it, to be honest, I was in a casualty and my houseman, the uh, doctor, the junior doctor, came running in with this ECG. She goes, I'm really worried about this uh, lady. And I said, give me that and look at the ECG. And it was flat, right, <laughs> just flat. And I said, well, I ran down the corridor and got to the lady and she's sitting up in bed reading her <laughs> Daily Mail like that. And the leads, basically, the leads had come off, <laughs> which is, you know... <sighs> Yeah, there was a lot of... I mean, there was a lot of odd stuff that Did happened. Did you almost go back during the pandemic, though? You almost signed up. Yeah, so I got... Uh, I mean, because I... <laughs> <laughs> for a kind of nostalgic reasons, I always kept on the register yeah. as retired. And then when this pandemic came in, we all got an email saying, your retired doctors are being called back, click on this link, right, And <laughs> to set the ball rolling. And uh, to be honest, I'd had a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> And I click on this link and then suddenly I'm into this process, like, and it, it basically peaks with this lady phoning me up from the, the London Workforce Hub saying, can you start work at the Nightingale Exeter Hospital on Monday? Oh, I my said, well, God! I said, well, I'm South London, it's not very handy. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you know, because everyone washed their hands and wore masks, it didn't happen. You know, the Exeter Hospital... Oh. So I think it's safe That's to say you don't yeah. at all regret leaving the NHS. No, well, imagine waking up, you know, from a, a sort of, you know, being ill and seeing me leaning over you, saying, how are you feeling? <laughs> yeah. So what, did you just have this inner, innate <sighs> feeling that oh, I just want to... Were you just funny anyway? You know what it was, Alison? I didn't know how you became a comedian, right? In the 70s, all the comedians had got into it through the Second World War. Yeah. Because they joined the entertainment corps. So I was the only kid in Kent hoping for a war because I thought, it's the only way I'm going to get <laughs> spotted, right? You know, if you wanted to be an actor, you went to drama school. But yeah. if you're a comedian, 
you know, it was all kind of northern comics and the working men's clubs and all that. So uh, it was only really when I came to medical school in London, I started going to alternative cabaret, you know, comedy shows in pubs and stuff, that I realised there was this different circuit and that you could basically... It was a short walk from the audience up onto the, up onto the stage. What were those early gigs like? Did you, did you find... <laughs> <laughs> did you find? I was about to say. Did you find it not easy? But did you find the the? the you know, it was very very. You know, the first one I ever did, it went well, right? And I thought, oh, this is it. I've cracked it. And then the third one, it was complete silence. No. Yeah. And like heckling is okay. Not okay, but at least you've got something to react. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do in silence? Well. What can you do? <laughs> Speed up, <laughs> is the answer. <laughs> Just tell the story. Yeah, so, and I mean, was heckled once. So I was heckled, it was in Hackney, in the Hackney Empire New Act of the Year, and I, I, I didn't know how to deal with hecklers, so I just kind of swore at him. He used a <laughs> rather rude word. And he shut up, but then when I left the venue, he chased after me with a broken bottle. No! <laughs> yeah. Oh so I was running in around the, I was running around this car. And he's coming, yeah. I mean, he was very drunk, but, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And the, the Queen wasn't really a fan of you either. She, well, she? well, she didn't chase me with a bottle. But, she... <laughs> 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 but it looked like, yeah, I mean, she just sort of looked at me and said... Um, it was the Royal Variety thing. What did there you say am, to yeah. her? She said, um, well, she said, it will have raised a lot of money. <laughs> and I said, you can never have too much money, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> and then she spotted Michael Ball and her face lit up. <laughs> <laughs> but then didn't you see her again? And she said, oh, isn't it dark in here? And then you said... Yeah, this is backstage <laughs> at the Albert Hall. And she, I looked round, I didn't... And she's there. And she said, it's very dark in here. And I said, have you got a torch, Mum? <laughs> and then Frank Skinner said, surely you should have a torch bearer. <laughs> And by then, you know, they cottoned on. <laughs> oh, there's Michael Ball. The security. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. Um, Harry, what happened yeah. to the X Factor musical I Can't Sing? Because I spoke well, to the guy that played me. Oh, you're Simon. Oh, no, you're yeah. Right. You? yeah. Well, I mean, I wasn't in it, but... but what was was I'll tell you what was amazing. <laughs> Cynthia Erivo was in it, though. Cynthia great, was, it? yeah. Who was sort of pretty much unknown then. Yeah. And she was... Uh, she played the sort of... Uh, well, the winner of the X Factor. You know, your character... Uh, we called him Liam O'Deary, <laughs> and uh, no offence, and he had a song about hugging. Yeah, he loved hug yeah. hugging people. Yeah. I like hugging people, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My thing! True, Which is the thing. And you, you I loved it! And you came on TV Burp and hugged me. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, the moment. book is out now. Congratulations, it's called Fight by Harry Hill. Well done. Yeah. Thank well done. you. Thanks, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> well, really well, well. Done you, Harry. <laughs> I've tried to keep it as you know a funny thing rather than a sort of uh, you know tragic. Story. Well, you've had us in tears of life. Yeah, brilliant. So, Good to have you at the Nice to see you both again. And you too. Yeah.